this is my first time to make a content in English and hopefully you will like this content in 2020. I would like to uh, share to you the types of books that I like to read and which platform that I like to use to read them. Uh, as you know that uh, we have so many types of books in the world and from those types of books these three types are the very familiar ones and we always uh, use them to read first of course the physical book itself uh, and they came from a different format like the hardback or hardcover books and then paperback books or some say also like soft cover books and then we also have uh, ebooks for those who like to read at the digital platform they would they will love to read from the ebooks and they can read from the tablet they have the smartphone or from the e-reader and one uh, one type of books that people usually like to read is an audio book uh, let's start with the paperback uh, paperback books actually is uh, books that i would like to collect uh, they came with uh, very various uh, covers, very beautiful covers and I would like to say that most of us actually are uh, interested in a book because of its cover. I don't say that we judge the book by its cover but uh, uh, some of us buy the books because of the cover, isn't it? <laughs> because of for me that buying a book sometimes due to its cover and of course if I already know the order and then I will out, uh, auto, uh, auto by author also but sometimes I buy the books also because of the cover especially when it came with the hardback format uh, they usually have a beautiful a spine even sometimes a beautiful edge and then sometimes with a colorful spine and colorful edge an embossed cover and so on it makes me very uh, interesting in buying the books because of them but lately i cannot buy the paperback books because some matters and also uh, sometimes i cannot read uh, that often and paperback books uh, either soft or hard cover uh, usually make me hard to open and read while sitting or doing something so that Due to of that, I would like to use an ebook. I often read from the ebook format because I can read them everywhere. In the uh, well, I am sitting or uh, I am uh, snuggling at my bed or in the uh, low light, then I choose ebook. Previously, I also already bought an e-reader, but then I. Uh, ended up with sold the e-reader because the e-reader uh, cannot read all of the platform I would like to uh, use so that's why I sell the e-reader and now I use only my smartphone and also my iPad uh, maybe some of you will say that using the e-books will uh, make your eyes tired easily yeah I would say yes for that but if we can uh, make a trick of how we read uh, the ebooks, actually, that will not strain your eyes. Uh, we need to like resting our eyes after we read around 20 minutes, and just don't read it uh, continuously because it will strain your eyes. And then uh, uh, the nowadays tablet or also smartphone already have their reading mode. Or night light and also the dark mode, it can help you to read from an ebook without uh, tiring your eyes. So yeah, that's why I choose ebook. And lately, I also choose audiobook because I can read or I can listen to the audiobooks whenever, whenever, and whatever I do, such as when I am cooking, I can listen to the audiobook or while I'm in the middle of editing my YouTube channel also, I can uh, listen to the audiobook and then uh, sometimes in the middle of the road when I, when I go to the office, I also listen to the audiobook 
Facebook while I can chat, while I can open my Instagram or Bookstagram. Uh, and then yeah, I enjoy it so much. Well, I would say that to read or to listen the audiobook needs a lot of concentration because for us, especially for me, who English is not uh, my native speaking language, it's kind of hard to listen to an audiobook while doing something serious. So when I am not in the middle of a serious uh, doing thing, I try to read using an audiobook. But if I found that the audiobook is really hard to listen because the author uses uh, like a hard vocabularies or hard uh, sentences, then I would uh, listen to the audiobook while reading the book. So that's why I can easily, easily uh, understand the content of the books. And I found that uh, after uh, reading so many audiobooks, now I'm also training my ears to listen to a lot of English uh, speaking or English uh, audio conversation. So that's why until now I can enjoy reading the audio. Well, I started reading or listening to the audiobook starting from the uh, easy reading books such as uh, Rick Riordan books, Percy Jackson, that use a very uh, common uh, conversation in it, very common uh, writing style in it, so that I could easily uh, follow the the sound, uh, follow the narration of the books, and I could easily uh, understand the meaning. So, for you guys who wants to try to read the audiobook, actually you can just go on read the audiobook, and if you find a little bit hard to read, and then listen to it while reading it and. Uh, after you find the enjoying parts of reading the audio books and then you will follow with it. But if you if you feel that audio books are for you and then just choose the couple of books or just choose the ebooks. Uh, anytime I feel like I don't have time to read, actually I can manage to read it using audio books and also ebooks. So that's why in 2020 now I'm trying to overcome my fondness of reading by using all those platforms, so I cannot say to myself that I cannot read. I need to read at least one hour or two hours a day. Then I find a very enjoyable uh, things to read every day, especially for my own memory genres, which, is, which are fantasies and also uh, science fiction kind of books. Okay, those are those types of uh, books that I like to read. and. There are also some platforms that I like to use while reading uh, my books. Well, for books, yeah, you already know that we have hardback and also paperback books. But if you want to ask me which one I like the most, paperback or hardback, definitely hardback. Because of what? Because of the cover itself. The cover, the spine, the edge, and the uh, the dust jacket. They are they came with a very beautiful and attractive uh, design so that's why I like to collect so many hardback books but yeah due to some matters I cannot collect anymore right now but maybe someday a year from now I would like to collect again especially for the books I love the most currently I still have uh, some hardback books but I only uh, minimize the collection I only collect Harry Potter uh, the 20 20 anniversary edition uh, hardback books and I collect the, the all the Hufflepuff uh, house because I'm from the Hufflepuff and then but if you uh, but if I can find the hardback edition it uh, it also fine just to collect the paperback edition uh, because paperback also sometimes came with a very attractive uh, color very, very attractive uh, cover uh, for example, like the books, uh, the Curse Breaker series by, by Bridget Cameron. Uh, uh, the books have a very, how to say, a very attractive spine because of the bling bling silvery spine. I love I I love the bling bling kind of things. And then when I saw the uh, the the Curse Breaker series, 
the book uh, number one that came with the bling bling uh, spine and I loved it very much. But now I didn't collect the book because one day I want to collect the hard book, the hard version. And speaking about ebooks, I like to read my ebooks through uh, Google Play. Google Play Books. So a um, platform for books by Google, which we can um, upload our own uh, books that we buy from another platform, put into the application, and then we can synchronize it between all platforms that we have, all devices that we have. Currently, I'm using an Android, and also I'm using an iOS, so that's why I can synchronize uh, both of them. But sometimes I also use a desktop, PC desktop browser, and they can synchronize each other, whether I now I'm reading at the iOS and then tomorrow I'm reading in the Android, I can synchronize them all. So that's why I choose to play. And also they they sell uh, a lot of books that we can find at the Amazon. Uh, they also sell at the cheap price. So yeah, I like to read through the play. And even more, I can read also our local books, our Indonesian local books in Google Play because they sell also they, they, they also sell our local Indonesian books. So yeah, I choose Google Play books. But aside for that platform, I also use a uh, I also use a script D uh, platform which we can subscribe monthly when reading the books. But uh, recently, I stopped subscribing to the platform because the books that I want to read recently. Uh, didn't found at the didn't find at the platform at the screen page, so that's why I unsubscribe for a moment and then later if I find another book that I like in the platform I will resubscribe. The last one related to the audio book, I like to listen to the audio book through an audible.com. Audible also has its uh, app that we can use. And also sometimes I also use Scribd to listen to the audio book. Uh, Scribd is the cheapest one when you subscribe to an audio book. So try the Scribd, try, try to subscribe and listen to it. And the other one is Audible because Audible um, it has so many new books in there. So I can say that Audible has a very complete audiobooks collection. But yeah, it is a little bit expensive compared to the uh, script but if you cannot wait to listen to an audio for the new release books just try the audio because when you subscribe monthly you uh, instantly can get one free book per month but if you want to add another audio book you need to buy but with a cheaper uh, price because you're, you're you're already a member or you're already subscribing to the audio if you didn't want to subscribe, if you don't want to subscribe to the Audible, you can buy per, per book, but the price will be uh, a lot higher than you uh, being a subscriber of the Audible. So if you want to try to read from the Audible, just go on. Kobo and also another platform also have the Audible. And it's your preference which uh, platform that you want to use to read your Audiobooks. But my recommendation is using the Audible. And Recently, I've just uh, uh, listened to the audiobooks from Rick Riordan, uh, the third book of Percy Jackson, The Titan's Curse. And I can say that I love it so much because the narration of the audiobook is very, very good. Uh, I forgot the name. Uh, let me check the name of the narrator uh, of the audiobooks that I read at the Percy Jackson. Uh, he, yes, the narrator is a uh, he. He can narrate all of the characters with so many different voices. So it's like it's like uh, listening or it's like watching in your imagination. It's like watching a movie with various kind of actors and actors, but in your brain, in your imagination. The name of the narrator is Jesse Bernstein. He was really talented when reading the book. Oh, he can use so many types of characters. Yeah, he can. He could portray Percy itself. He could portray Annabeth. He could portray Poseidon, Artemis, Aphrodite, 
and then he could present Italia and even he could create the monsters so it's, it was like a wow the audiobook was amazing even more when you uh, listen to the audiobook and also reading the ebook wow, this, that was very amazing uh, it was just like you read and you watch and you listen at the same time so sometimes if, if you have time and if you want to try you can try the audiobook because it can give you a different how to say a different experience when reading a book when reading especially when reading a fantasy books or when reading a dystopian books but i'm sure that when you read a, a romance a crime thriller books a, even the horror books you can get a new experience when reading them using the albums and my uh, actually i heard a lot of uh, interesting uh, information that when you read illuminate illuminate series by the j christophe and amy kaufman through the books you can get a lot of new experience when uh, reading the books maybe you already know that illuminate series has a very unique uh, type of paperback or hard hardback books and I also said it was also very unique when listening to the audiobooks but I didn't have time to read the audiobooks maybe later if my TBR files is already going down but I uh, or also have heard one of J. Christoph's book uh, The Aurora Rising through the audiobooks uh, and, and it was a very good experience for me because the narrator itself also was very talented that can portray all of the characters so well and it just gave me thrills and chills when listening to the audiobooks while reading the books so uh, don't be scared when reading the audiobooks because it can give you a new experience and it can train your English actually for those uh, of you who English uh, are not your native uh, language and I hope in Indonesian itself, I hope that our uh, local books also can have an audiobook someday, uh, especially to help me, to help us, to have a limited time of reading at home. Yeah, as you know, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm also a working mom, which my time is already, is already uh, spent with those kind of things. And then I also have a YouTube, a podcast, which uh, I find the audiobook easy for me to read more in the future. So that's all my sharing about uh, types of books. You can listen to this to my podcast, and also you can watch this through my YouTube. And all of and hopefully, hopefully you can enjoy this information. And sorry for my bad English. I just want to learn how to speak English fluently in front of a camera. And then I hope this can give you a, a, a good impression, maybe. And I hope also for your input about my book, book, book tube, uh, book related YouTube, and also uh, this book podcast of what can I share in the future, and also what can I improve in my video and also my podcast. Thank you very much for listening, and maybe you can share which platform that you would like that you always like to use when reading a book. Maybe a physical books, or maybe a physical book, an ebook, or an audio book. And give me your opinions about that. Thank you very much for watching and for listening, and hopefully your days are enjoyable. Bye-bye.